It's a simple tool to help people grow and develop. I am not giving the instructions, the ideas, the journey for them. Oh, this would be a good idea. Have you tried this? What about that? Rather, stepping back and asking them, what is their desire? What have you thought about? Coaching is slightly different in as much as I don't need to be an expert in anything other than asking questions. Um, and I can draw out from you your own experience and your own wisdom and sometimes simply verbalizing what, you're, what you've been going through. Um, good question asking was Jesus' way, his model, his method. What do you want? He'd ask people. Through stimulating questions and um, yeah, getting to the heart of things. You actually come up with what you really want to do and how you really want to do it. Um, and at the end of the coaching session, hopefully you've come up with some actions that you are going to do as a result of having just thought it through with some um, good questions asked by the coach. It's heart relational in that it's to do with the fact that our desire is for someone else to be improving. It's coming alongside people. It is not a telling posture. That's what I like about it too. It isn't just giving my opinions, my ideas, which I love to do, but have realized that actually that is not the best way that people's lives are transformed. A tool like this can be used in so many different relationships uh, to help one another um, make decisions, solve problems, develop relationships together, um, and to, to grow in depth of understanding. I think there's still great benefits of using those coaching skills. As Fee said, even just the asking questions, even just listening for significant comments being made by people. If people can learn a few of those, that could be in your family, that could be in your job, your local church, you're preaching, <laughs> set up a telling posture, asking any people to reflect. I think it could spread because I think we see more transformation. We see people taking responsibility for their lives, realizing that nobody can just fix me. I have to take responsibility. I have to decide. you can talk about one another's decisions and plans. Um, you can talk with your kids, teenagers. We both um, spent time with our kids just helping them through um, issues of career, choice and development, career, uh, choice of partners, <laughs> uh, how you're getting on with um, you know, your, your partner in in all kinds of different situations and how the differences that you have and how you work through those. So it's all to do with growth. Any any aspect of growth in a relationship, you can use a coaching skill to be able to help and enhance that. So I think it's very applicable throughout family ministry. You, in, in family ministries, you, you do premarital uh, counselling. So it's a great way of, of using coaching skills. Um, <clears throat> marriage courses, you can use coaching skills as you work with another couple. Um, <clears throat> family camps, you can encourage families to use this tool to enhance their relationships with their families. I think it can be used in all our relationships at every level. Even if we just have a handful of those skills, I think it will still be very valuable.